Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I am excited to come on here for a little bit and kind of talk to you guys about a topic that I've been sharing with people all day long. And I really feel like it's so important that my entire community hears it. So I'm actually going to be uh, sharing this video to YouTube, putting it on our leadership page as well. That way other people outside our groups can actually hear the, the things that I have to say tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and tag some people on here. As you guys hop on, just say, Hey, let me know that you're in here. Um, come join me. I would love for you guys to join me if you can. That way I'm not talking to myself. And like I said, as y'all hop on, just say hi. So make sure I tag some people. It's been a minute since I have gone live on our team page. So I hope that y'all are interested in hearing what I have to share tonight. Because uh, I think a, a lot of what I have to say tonight will relate to a lot of the things that you guys are fearing in your business or maybe feeling in your business, I should say. All right, so I'm just gonna tag a few more people. If you get the tag, it's not directed to, uh, not directed towards you. It's just hopefully helpful to you. I just hope that we get some people to hop on. I made some bullet notes on here so that I can remember um, some of the things I wanted to go over with you guys. Hey, Linda, good evening. Hope you're doing good. But I made some bullet notes in here so that I can make sure that I don't forget something. Um, and yeah, so our topic of conversation tonight is really going to be over fear, okay? And when I say fear, I mean all of the big and scary things in your business or even in your personal life that you let consume you. Okay, Stephanie. So fear, some of our fears in our businesses. I would love to hear from you guys if you'll type it down below. Um type in one thing or multiple things that you're afraid of in your business. It could be the, the fear of going live. It could be the fear of following up with customers. It could be the fear of meeting new customers. It could be the fear of engaging or asking people to party. What are some of your fears that you guys feel like you struggle with, okay? Um, today, I had an opportunity to really discuss what fear really is and what it does to our businesses with so many different people. And I wanted to really go over this, okay? So fear is really not willing to work our business because we're afraid of what others are going to think of us, right? Not willing to reach out to people because of fear of judgment, not willing to follow up in fear of being considered annoying, not willing to do live because we're anxious, not willing to share in our stories because we don't want to annoy anybody again. Not willing to lead other people because we fear that we won't measure up to other leaders, right? Linda says, fear of not having the right answers to negativity. All right. Fear that you guys have. All right. All right. Hopefully you guys can see me. My Wi-Fi was trying to kick me off. Fear is telling yourself that the experience or what the experience is going to be without even, even stepping up to the plate. I want you guys to hear that again. I was listening to Trent Shelton. So if any of you guys have heard any of this, you'll probably be like, she was listening to Trent Shelton podcast. I sure was. And a lot of this resonated with me. Fear is telling yourself what the experience is going to be without stepping up to the plate. Okay, I understand all of the fears that we have in our business. Um, I've been there alongside you guys. I've experienced it. And I've had a lot of missed opportunities because of fear. And I want you guys to understand that in the business that we're in, which we're in a business, when we let the fear consume us, we're saying no to all of the potential that we may have. We're saying no to all of the beautiful things that might happen to us because we're not willing to receive it, because we're not even willing to put ourselves out there. This is a brand new catalog season, which means new warmers, new fragrances, new all the things, right? 
but a lot of people have told me I'm struggling with my sales. I'm struggling with booking parties. I'm struggling with etc. And I asked them, have you asked people? Have you got one on one with, you know, anybody and said, Hey, I'm looking for people to host a brand new party. Hey, I'm putting in an order today. Hey, whatever. Or have you shared Cincy? Personally shared Cincy. Unboxed new scents. Have you unboxed new warmers? Have you shared new warmers and stuff on your stories? And the answer is usually somewhere. Hey, Michelle, the answer is usually somewhere in the, yeah, I did, but, but, but there's a limitation to that, right? I hear that a lot. And you guys may hear that either, either it's from yourself. You're telling you, yeah, but, or, you know, you're hearing it from your teammates and you're, you see all of the potential they have, but you know, something is holding them back. And that something is always fear. We fail because we don't try and not because we tried. That's the biggest thing for you guys to understand is that we're not really, we want to say that we're trying all the time, but in all honesty, have you ever got that like gut feeling or like you kind of have that something in your throat that chokes you up when you want to reach out to somebody and you follow up with them when they place an order and you're like, oh, <clears throat> How was your order? You know, did you like it? But you're kind of afraid what, you know, what they're going to think of you. Or maybe your fear is recruiting other people and you don't want to ask that person who just ordered from you if they ever considered becoming a Sensi consultant. So you just don't ask. And when you don't ask and they find somebody who will ask them to join their team, you lose that potential person. You're beating yourself up over it because you're like, man, if I would have known, or I can't believe she didn't join under me, but what held you back, right? It's fear. All right, so how many fears have held you guys back and kept you from your full potential? I want you guys to really let that question sink in right now and just say, hmm, not just sensi related, personal related, personal things, or sensi related. Have you ever felt that maybe, hi, have you ever felt that maybe something that you truly wanted you never achieved because you were afraid to just do it? Maybe you wanted to join the military at a young age. Maybe you wanted to do this and that as a career, but you said, eh, I don't know. And then you had that instant regret later on because you didn't make that decision because why, right? So we can't erase the fears that we have. They're always going to be there, guys. I still have fears to this day. I still get anxious when I go live with you guys because I wonder all the time if anything that I say is gonna be of value, if anything that I have to contribute to my group is going to be taken and utilized, or if I'm going to just sound like, you know, I'm preaching to the choir. Fear is always going to be present in every, all right, here we go. Fear is always going to be present in our lives. But the one thing I can say about that is that we can control them. We can say no to fear and whether you're religious or you're not religious, but what does God tell us? Or what do you hear all the time? We don't need to live in fear. We do what our heart thinks that we need to do. And we get the outcome, right? And not all the time is your outcome going to be incredible. Not all the time that you, you know, you reach out to somebody and say, hey, do you want to join my team? Or hey, would you like to start your own Sitsi journey? Or hey, you know, would you like to book an event with me that you're going to get a yes or that you're going to get a positive or that you're going to get, you know, whatever it is. Or even a positive or negative. Sometimes you will get a negative reaction. But if you never ask if you never try, you're always going to wonder the what if, right? So here's a quote from Trent Shelton I want to share with you guys. I absolutely relate to this. I love it so much. It says, you have home run capabilities, but you're allowing fear to step up to the plate. You're so afraid to strike out. You're so afraid to strike out 
that you never allow yourself to see how much potential you have because you're so afraid to step up to the plate. Let that truly sink in for just a second, guys. You have a lot of potential, but you're so afraid that you're going to strike out that you don't even step up to the plate. The only true strikeout in your life is not stepping up to that plate. And I really want you guys to take this in and think about your business in 2021. I want you guys to think about how your business is going today and decide, do you like your PRV? Do you like how many people are in your group? If you don't, remember, you have control. You can change that, okay? You can never get to the greatest potential. I have a kid coming up. <laughs> I'm afraid to go live because this one runs up in all my lives. Say hi, Nora. Hi. <laughs> because she always shows up. Always, without fail. Wow. Okay, I was going to give that to you, but hold on. Can you wait? Yes. Okay. Sure, Mom. sure, Mommy. She just sees her Mickey and Minnie buddies. Can you wait? Don't open it yet. Okay. 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 Can you go downstairs first? I'll give you the Mickey and Minnie, okay? Mm -hmm. oh, did, 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 nobody said go into my candy drawer. Let's see. Okay. Anyway, the only true strikeout in life that you guys have is not stepping up to the plate. No, no, no. Not that one. No. Get the strawberries. That one's hard. This one's hard? Yes, yeah, so you can get the strawberries. Yes, let me see. Hold on. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. This one. Take these two and give it to Daddy to open. Okay? And I'll be downstairs. Give me five minutes or less. Sorry. All right. You can never get to the greatest potential in your life because you're not willing to put yourself out there and try. Do you guys want to have to experience that time over time and time again? If you're not happy with where you are in your business, whether it's the amount of people that you have in your team. Hold on, babe. Go on, Nora. Take the candy to daddy. Hi, Scarby. We're live. <laughs> okay, take these downstairs. You guys can go downstairs and open up Mickey and Minnie. Come. Come on. Go on. I have a Yeah, I know. I went to Sam's Club. <laughs> Sorry, team. I gotta lock my door down. See what I have to deal with, too? <laughs> um, I don't want you guys to look at your numbers and look at the people in your group and ever feel like, oh, I wasted two years. I wasted three years. I could have grown a team as wide as a football field. As long as a football field, whichever. I could have, you know, become a director because I decided to put myself out there. I chose to lead my team. Or I said, I don't care if I measure up to other people or not. I'm going to give it my all. Because I have truly put myself in that situation so many times, especially as a superstar director. When I hit superstar director, those of you who paid attention may have noticed I kind of went quiet between September, October, November, December, kind of took a couple steps back, right? Because I was afraid. Because I was afraid that I wasn't going to be the best SSD for you guys. Because I watched and compared, let's be real, watched and compared myself to other SSDs. And I always thought, what if I don't measure up to them? What if I've been living in a shadow or their shadow? Who cares? Who cares if you are? Because you're never going to find out if you're good enough or how worthy you are, I should say. Not that you're good enough, but how worthy you are until you just say, you know what? Don't be afraid. Don't live in fear. All right. So the number one fear that I know you guys are experiencing for the most part, from what I've heard from you guys, is performance fear. The fear of not measuring up to the expectations of yourself and others. Now, 
Trent Shelton does say, live life with no expectations. But you know what? We, the truth is we always have expectations, right? We do. However, he also says external expectations will keep you from internal progression. External expectations will keep you from your internal progression. Okay, when you expect all of these things to just go a certain way all the, all the time, even when you say, if I reach out to somebody, they're going to say yes to every party. You expect it in your head and they say no. Ooh, what's going to happen? You're going to get hurt and you're going to say no, no, never again. Uh, no, not today. I'll try again later on, but you never do because you set that expectation so high and when it didn't turn out the way you thought it would you shy away again and again and again i'm not telling you guys don't go into everything with no expectations just blah 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 but when i message people like i did today i have two parties going on right now and when i went in those inboxes and said hey thank you for joining so and so's party do you need help or do you need a link just that that's all i said when I messaged everybody and I sent them that message that was like a max of maybe two and a half, three sentences long, right? That was all I did. I sent every single person in that party a message and I did not, I didn't spam. I didn't give them my link. I didn't try to pester them with a million and five different products. But I said, I'm going to go ahead and share this with them and ask them if they need help. And if they do, they'll let me know. And if they don't, it's okay too. But I'm not going to look at each and every customer and say, you're going to, you know, no, no, no. I'm going to get $500 in sales. They're all going to want, no. I said, no expectations. They will or they won't. Who knows? But I will never know unless I physically put myself out there to do what I did. So I want you guys to remember that you are so, so so much more valuable that you like than you ever possibly could have thought okay i believe that you guys are valuable i believe that you guys are worthy i believe that you can but i believe that you have to put your fears to your side and tell it no more and that i you got to repeat i control my fear i can control my fear that fear of going live to unbox your kit when you first hit that join button, that's a fear. Why do people not go live when they get the join kit, right? Why do people not do stories? Why do people not go live at all? Why do people not go live when they're leaders on the team page? Ask yourself, if you're a leader and you don't really go live on our team page, what is your fear? Most likely you're afraid that you're not going to measure up. You're afraid that nobody's gonna watch your live. You're afraid that you're gonna be talking to the walls. I get it, I get it, same fear. What, I have a team of 200 something people in here and three people are still here. But it's okay, we do it for the one. We don't do it for all, we do it for the one or the ones that do show up. And that's what matters. And you guys have got to realize that that is how you build trust in your community. That is how you build that wall, that wall so high. So when you start to get scared that you're not going to get a yes, or you're going to be scared that you're going to be ignored, that that wall is built so thick and so high that no matter what happens in the future, it's not going to affect you. And I used to be the same way when it came to fear of judgment or fear fear of what people were going to say or do or laugh at me all you want. Oh my gosh, until I realize they don't pay my bills. They don't pay your bills, right? The people that laugh and the people that judge you and the people that make fun of you don't pay your bills anyway. So would you want them to control your future and your fate and your potential with the business that you have? No, you don't. But you're never going to find out if you've got that potential if you're never willing to put yourself out there because you're afraid. And I want you guys to all understand when I say you guys have all the potential in the world. We're in a brand new catalog season. Y'all, we got products upon product upon product. It's not that I'm telling you sell, sell, and sell, and sell, and sell. I'm telling you guys, hey, listen, we got the stuff. 
We got the catalog. We got the tools right here for you. But you have to control where you're going to steer your vessel. Are you going to steer it up? Or are you going to just be slow and steady and drive that baby to the ground? Because you're not willing to just say, who cares? And I'm very proud for those of you those of you guys that are here and those that will hit the replay, I'm proud of y'all for showing up for this because I think it's important time after time that we hear that. I think it's important that we really acknowledge that fear is common. I had a conversation with my sister today over lunch and we talked about the reasons why people don't want to do what we do, why people don't want to hit that join button because they're so afraid. They're so afraid of what their friends are going to say, their families are going to say. They may have already tried network marketing and failed before, and they're afraid of failure again. And it's totally normal. There's nothing wrong with that. But the fact of the matter is, you're not always going to fail. Sometimes you're going to, though. It's a part of success. If I had told you that I succeeded with everything that I did, I'd be lying. I would be lying lying. If I told you that I cruised through my business with no fears, no failures, no, no heartache, no drama, I would be lying. The road is going to be like this, always up and down. But you got to just say, who cares? I'm here for the ride, but guess what? I'm also the driver and I can drive my business to success if I look fear in the face and say, you're not going to control me. You're not going to control my business, my future, or what my family deserves. So, okay, this is all I have to share with you guys tonight. I just wanted to speak just a little bit. I don't want to draw it out too long. But if you want, drop your fears down below. Vocalize those fears and then tell them no. At the end of your sentence, say no more. And I would love to hear what you guys are willing to throw out because we are in the, the era of burning our fears. We're in the, the era of letting go of things that control our future because we are in control of that future and nobody else, not your mama, not your daddy, not your cousin, not your friend down the road, not your friend from college, you. It starts with you and I believe in you and I know that y'all all have great potential. So listen. If you ever need somebody to tell you that you're worthy, if you ever need somebody to tell you that you can and that they believe in you or I believe in you, I am here and I'm going to tell you the same thing. You can, you will, you shall. All right. I love you guys so much. Y'all have a good night. Bye.